Whoa, dude, I'm the man of steel. Moving on. What's happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris and today it is a cosplay breakdown and demonstration of my recovery slash regeneration black suit Superman cosplay. Whoa, that was a lot to say. Now I premiered this cosplay last weekend here in Sydney at Oz Comic Con. The response was absolutely and utterly overwhelming. So a massive thank you to everyone for your support, kind words, compliments, and it was just great to catch up with everyone. But first, it looks like we have a sponsor. <laughs> Designed to inspire and unite, Arise Collective is dedicated to revealing the diversity of the world around us. It's stylish, affordable, and honest eyewear that protects your vision, supports social causes, and promotes a better way of living. Arise Collective was created by a group of young creative professionals from every corner of the world who wanted to see creative eyewear that was stylish, sustainable, and relevant to the world around us. Composed of five key collections, Arise Classics, Arise Titan, Arise Light, Arise Bolt, and Arise Elite, you are able to find a frame that fits all purposes. Now, not only am I sporting my favorite sunnies, I love these things, but I also have some eye strain glasses. At the moment, I do not need prescription glasses. Not yet, because of the amount of editing I do and a lot of screen time that I do on a daily basis, these babies help me from getting eye strain, which I'm very susceptible to. Plus, I kind of feel like Clark Kent. Time for a little switcheroo. So the Arise Elite collection is sculpted from premium Italian acetate, delicately polished by hand, resulting in a product of excellent design and craftsmanship. Whilst Arise Titan and Arise Light are composed of high quality titanium and stainless steel, basically leaving you with a lightweight and timeless frame. So with that being said, all frames come with free lenses, including anti-scratch and anti-reflective coatings. I will leave the links down below. With that being said, it's time for some Superman goodness. So yes, today's video is a breakdown, which means I'm gonna be going through all the pieces and components of the costume, where they came from, if I made them, what was done, what needed to be done, what needed to be changed, then I'm gonna fully suit up in this stinking hot garage. Show you how the muscle suit moves with the textured fabric on top, the belt, the gauntlets. In terms of the boots for the time being, I'm actually gonna be using John Ninko's Batfleck boots, which is part of my Batfleck cosplay. You guys gotta understand, this cosplay came together so quickly. My two options were regular mullet 90s Superman or the regeneration 90s looking Superman with a mixture of Henry Cavill thrown in there. Now, because the regular suit was not ready in time, it was gonna be the regeneration suit, and even then, it was a last minute scramble to get this thing ready. On the day of the con, the cape actually broke 10 minutes into arriving at the con, but I did a photo shoot with my good friend, Nathan Atkins, right before heading into the con with the cape intact in all its glory whilst I was still fresh before sweating my ass off. So first things first, let's take a look at the muscle suit slash cape. Yeah, mate. Alrighty, what you see here is a very dirty and messy looking muscle suit, but that's fine because this is just an understructure and a form for the look of the Man of Steel. So, it comprises of foam urethane components that have been glued over a morph suit or just a black body suit you can find off eBay. Firstly, let's start with the cape. So the cape is actually from Cody Smith of Dustly Designs and it is a spare Batfleck cape that I had lying around and I wanted to utilize it for the regeneration suit because of the dirtiness of the cape and the texture. It just matches up with what I was going for in terms of realism. Now it still has a classic Batflat look going on here, but instead of attaching to a cow, it Velcros under the muscle suit right here. Now this is what actually failed on the day because it was a very rushed job and the sweat from the suit actually dissolved part of the glue slash contact adhesive and the Velcro tab subsequently came out and done. But it has been fixed, it is strong, it is good as new, so it is perfect for a demonstration today. Now going back to the muscle suit, these are urethane foam pieces. Now in terms of the maker slash makers of these, it is a combo here. We have a Napier's Effects torso, lats, crutch, 
and legs. Now a lot of pieces have been shaved down just to get that nice aesthetic look instead of the roid rager bodybuilding look which is more associated with Batfleck. The forearms are also napiers whilst the shoulders slash biceps come from El Fett who does amazing muscle suit kits as well as napiers. I just wanted that look of classic strong men but also aesthetic and that V taper going on so that's why I also added the lats into the muscle suit. In terms of what I use for sticking down the muscle pieces, that was just a sicker contact adhesive you can get from Bunnings. Uh, these pieces are originally like a bone white, so they were covered with a Sigaflex Flex 227, which is a lot of the time what Benny and myself will use to glue down chest emblems, stuff like that, sealing a lot of pieces up. So a lot of the muscles were covered with the Sigaflex Flex and to seal them a lot more, and just as a bit of insurance to make sure it's gonna stick to the base undersuit. So with that being said, let's move on to the belt and gauntlets. This right here is a GC5 FX belt from Mr. Chris Robinson. Now initially when I ordered this, it was actually gold uh, because like I said, I originally thought I was gonna be doing the regular suit Superman. Ran out of time, so I went ahead and colored it silver. Now urethane is very hard to color. I have my own special method for coloring this. Uh, it does wear off eventually with a bit of wear and tear and you know with a lot of hands fiddling with it and you know oils from your skin it will break down the painting method that I use but it is a beautiful belt and this is actually based off Nicolas Cage's belt from when he was gearing up to portray Superman in Tim Burton's adaptation of The Man of Steel. Now it just fastens with a clipping at the back and it is fully adjustable. Chris has done an amazing work and was so fast with his turnaround and getting this out to me. Now the gauntlets are something I'm quite proud of and definitely need upgrading slash readjusting and going back to the drawing board. The basis for these gauntlets is Batfleck. These are Batfleck gauntlets. You can see right there, that's what houses the three razor fins on the side. Now, the molds for these actually came from Benny Ball of Venable FX. I borrowed them and said I wanted to do something a little different because part of the regeneration suit are these chrome looking gauntlets or cuffs. These are essentially cast in solid resin. This is super cast from Barnes and I made a slit up the bottom here and it is a velcro closure now i will be upgrading to urethane for something a bit more flexible because the rigidity of these kind of limits your movement especially when you are in that bad boy regardless of that i'm very happy with how they turned out they did cop a bit of a battering over the weekend because obviously with your wrists moving in this part of the gauntlet it is a high traffic area and stresses the resin quite a lot. Now the spray that I used was a super chrome from White Knight and it has been dulled down quite a lot just from excessive wear and tear use grabbing them and trying to readjust them over the weekend but when they are first sprayed they are a lovely lovely chrome finish. So when it actually comes to casting up the urethane pieces I will be embedding some silver powder into the mixture itself so the color will stay fresh and embedded in the urethane castings. Alrighty, the final piece, or should I say piece airs, one, two, is the bodysuit that is draped over the muscle suit. Now, the base bodysuit slash fabric comes from Napiers Incorporated, who provided these lovely muscles for this suit, and is that lovely chainmail look that we have going on, exactly like Henry Cavill's. This is a beautifully textured fabric, and the way the light hits it, certain, certain lighting makes it look like it's silver, chain mail, and then it goes a lovely sort of black under certain lighting elements. Now the chest emblem for this was made by Batboy Customs and like GC5FX's belt, it was actually the original Superman color, the red and the gold, but ran out of time in terms of doing the regular suit. So again, I colored this urethane chest emblem like the recovery suit emblem. I love this look. I love the classic simple look. I am a fan of Cavill's emblem, but to me, I wanted to mash it up a bit, have a bit of the 90s look mixed in with Cavill's look. We have a zipper closure up the back so this is tailored for the muscle suit when it first initially arrived the sides and the legs had to be taken in quite a bit because they were a bit baggy on the muscle suit but everywhere else was perfect one more thing the hairstyles so when I posted on my news feed on YouTube some people had a crack about the hair and that's fine I get it we all have our opinion I don't 
give a fuck. Honestly, I'm going for that dirty 90 mullet look and also this amazing piece of fan art of Cavill in his regeneration suit. So it has been tinted with a black spray, which is what I use for whiplash. And then I have gelled out the sides here and then just have the ponytail at the back. And I just think it's something different. That's my opinion. I'm happy with it. And that's all that matters, right? One more thing. Here is a picture of a failed makeup test on the morning of the con, Oz Comic Con that is. So I was going for the red blaring contact lenses with the veins around them based off one of the BVS posters of Henry Cavill all fired up with his eyes blaring. To me, unless you have CGI, it just does not look right and quite frankly, look like I'm stoned. Whoa, dude, I'm the man of steel. All right, time to suit up. So I do know for the most part in the regeneration storyline, he doesn't usually wear a cape. So having the option of the Velcro tab with to take the cape on and off is actually great. So I'm gonna gauntlet up, show you guys the uncaped full look and then cape up and show you guys the fully completed look with the cape. It is so hot. And there you have it guys, the regeneration black suit Superman cosplay is officially done and dusted for version one. So like I said, in terms of the gauntlets, I'm gonna be upgrading to urethane because I did not have time to cast up some urethane ones. I had resin handy, so that was gonna suffice for the weekend. Now during the course of filming this footage all suited up, I have noticed this shoulder is not exactly on par with this one, and that is because you kinda have to twist this muscle suit around a bit to get that even look. So you get the idea. But anyway, that shoulder looks better than that one. Now before I sign off, I just wanna give a massive thank you to the following artists for helping bring this suit together in such a short, amount of time. To Bruce Pomel and Fernando Navarro for the muscle pieces, gentlemen, thank you. My good mate Ben Ball for helping me glue down the muscle pieces as well as providing the molds for the gauntlets. We also got Bruce for the textured fabric. We got Cody Smith for the cape. Joel Ramos for the chest emblem, Mr. Christopher Robinson for the belt, and of course, Mr. Nathan Atkins. As you can see here, this is the photo shoot that I was talking about at the beginning of the video that Nate and I did when I first arrived at Oz Comic Con in the car park at Homebush Base. Nate captured the suit fresh in all its glory as well as myself looking fresh and in all my glory before I was sweating bullets. Gentlemen, thank you so much for helping out. It was a last minute scramble, but we all got there in the end and I could not have done it without you. Like I've been taught in costuming, sometimes it takes a small village. Guys, wherever you are in the world, have yourselves a cracker of a day. I hope you're well, hope you're happy. 
be merry, be silly, and until next time, Geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best. <laughs>